Hey guys, it's that again. Well, um, before I start shooting video on the uh, boat motor over there, I wanted to make up a different rig to uh, put my camera where I need it. So uh, I know they make things and but you know, being on par with our channel, I decided that I would create my own contraption. So what we have here is my Sony camera, my handy cam, um, with a piece of that's actually a loom that's a steel broom handle that I drove over uh, in the garage and crushed it. But this section, there's still another little piece that's uh, about in good shape and it's like painted almost like um powder coated with this plasticky aluminum looking stuff but it's actually steel aluminum probably would have worked too but uh it's what i had and it, and it actually worked pretty good uh down here is a bicycle light this is a zfal uh, can you guys see that? I know I'm getting reflection. I'm shooting this on my phone. So old style here. Z-Fal. And what's cool about this light is it has the three uh, AA batteries in it, like uh, the Harbor Freight free lights. This isn't free, though. This thing is kind of expensive. Um, but it has uh, adjustable, by sliding it in and out, like a mag light. You can really tune it down. And it has two different high and low levels for the light. Um, that came with this clamp that you clamp onto your handlebars on your bicycle which clears the door opening here as you guys can see the door opens and closes and spins and does all that stuff so you can see what you're doing now at this end of it i've left enough space in here so i could get my hand in here to push the button to turn the light on and uh as you guys can see that works and um, this contraption here is a, uh, an electric fan, a DC fan right here that I found someplace and it actually still works. So, but I did cut the end of it off. I don't ever use it, but it does work. So, um, and that I cut the end off, slid it inside here and then just drilled it and put a screw through it and, uh, cut the end of it off cause it's long. But what that allows me to do is it allows me to rotate this aluminum shaft inside here. So that allows me to rotate the camera to get it nice and square. This down here allows me to rotate left and right. And I can also, it's a little stiff, but... Uh, Okay, I'll break it off here before I get it turning. Okay, so now you can see I can go this way with it. I could clamp it on this way. So if we wanted to shoot, you know, off the side of the bench. Okay, here's my drill press. I'll clamp it on there. You guys can see this light actually clicks. And we can shoot over there and um, so yeah it's a uh, kind of crazy looking but uh, I think it'll work I think it'll work a lot better and it'll allow us to even clamp it on the tripod if we can't find a place to hook it on to so there it is and all of its beauty. The only thing that's squirrely is this light has a, um, a pulse too on it. So, oh, so if you just hit a light, it comes back on. So, so there it is. We've got the light. I've noticed with this camera, I like this camera, but it actually um, needs that light to get the higher definition. So the more light, the happier it is. So anyway, guys, just a super quick video before we start in on that motor, which is right there. And uh, we will get that uh, coming apart and get diagnosing it. I also ordered some more parts for it. 
They should be in uh, middle of next week. I figured I had the bottom end apart to change the water pump. I might as well put all new seals in the bottom. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, commenting, and subscribing. Look forward to seeing some more video of this boat motor. Uh, I probably will get into it this afternoon and start shooting the video on my new camera rig. Hopefully the quality has improved. Bye.